what you know about juice. Making them moves. Instead of no casual breaking the news. Revenue proof. A building portfolio is taking one over exceptional pain. I'm chopping this. So participation ain't a hard knock. I put in the work so you got knowledge. You ain't drawing with luck when you follow with us. The result is a pair full of fat pockets. Bada bang. That's an auto game with an auto flame. Put a lot of hate. Get about the lane. Ain't about the trade. Have another trade. Get another play. They playing guys so pretentious. Crapes in these waters for bit. Well, indeed, that's a felony. Don't look at me for the TRB. Have you heard of TRB? I don't know. On the cover, better sit low. The product base better drip though. Pocket fat when the chips low. Alex O, crypto. Fit the party like a disco. Fan base like my wallet, yo. Stay true to the digital. Alex O, crypto. On the cover, better sit low. The product base better drip though. Pocket fat when the chips low. Alex O, crypto. Fit the party like a disco. Fan base like my wallet, yo. Stay true to the digital. Alex O, crypto. 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 I mean, what's going on? What's going on, all you legends out there? I see you out there making them gains. I see you all out there making them gains. Sheesh. I mean, I'm going to have to bring a spoon because we just spoon feeding trade setup. Like, do I got a spoon somewhere? I'm going to have to call Mrs. Otter and tell her to bring a spoon. I don't have a spoon. No spoon. Okay. What is going on, you absolute superstar legends? Making money, making money, making machine. You guys are. Just turn on them printers. My God, my God. Whew. Whew. I feel the heat. You guys are just... Full of power, full of energy. Crushing it, crushing it, crushing it. My God, my God. 
Hashtag hand holding. Yes, let's go. Jonathan Schaefer in the chat. Alexandra G G G Andy Lee 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 L T T T T T Crypto Wanderer, what's going on, my man? Zep, what's going on? Hope you're having a great day, guys. Bullish on parade. Let's go. Holla. Holla. Sky high, baby. Sky high. What did Nono say a couple days ago? What did he say? We'll 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 just check on the no no signal, okay? Okay. Seymour Liddy Cabrera, what's going on? Amica Mia, Jorn Besser, Sky High, Sky High, Nick Musgrave, Anthony T saying hello, McLovin at Crypto, Kelchi Agucha, what's going on, man? What's going on? What's going on? Darren does things. I'm here and back from holiday. Welcome back. I'm sorry your holiday had to end, but we're glad you're back, Mr. DDT himself. STL coin sent SPX crashing. Okay. Get a spork. Yeah, we could do a spork. Yeah, yeah, I could see the spork. Nothing like a short squeeze reversal. Woo! You're right. Yeah, yeah. Alex, can you take a look at XRP? You guys are still hitting me up. XRP came out with a stable coin. You mean like not XRP, right? Ah, the, there's jokes in there. There's jokes in there. We know that there's jokes in there. But yes, um, we'll add XRP to the list for you, Seymour Liddy Cabrera. I bet you XRP goes to like four bucks and Seymour Liddy's just laughing at us, man. Good to see you. Keto RXD XRP news today. Yeah. Yeah. Jeanette, what's going on? Good to see you guys. As the comments are coming in. We got 45 people in here already. We do the two-hour live stream, and we called it this morning. Like, I ain't, I ain't one person to be like, I told you to buy here and sell here. But this morning, we said the breakout is coming in big, bold letters, okay? The breakout is coming. I don't know. I don't know how big. Do I got to make the font bigger? The font needs to be bigger. Maybe maybe we can put like sirens. Maybe we can do like a, I don't know. What, do you guys really need me to do? I don't know. I won't stoop to this level. Okay. I promise you guys, I will never make a thumbnail that looks like this. Okay. I promise you guys. I promise. I promise. I don't need to get your attention that bad. Okay. Okay. I don't. Need <laughs> <sighs> Breakout incoming, all right? Breakout incoming. Guys, the Discord today. Okay. Do I have to go over this? Like, if you're new here and you're not part of this Discord, okay, everything is free. Okay, we, we have decided not to charge. Maybe one day in the future, like long, long ahead in the future, once we have established our core people, and obviously our core people will never have to pay a damn a damn scent. However, spoon fed. Kyle, Kyle this morning, breakout trade. Breakout trade, Kyle. Gave you guys spoon fed, okay? Spoon fed, Kyle, early in the morning, okay? Right here, look, spoon fed, okay? Me last night giving you the bounce level, okay? Buy, buy, okay? Spoon fed. Schaefer TA, we have five technical analyses now, okay? He said, money flows thick on the four-hour looking for continuation, guys. Eight-hour money flow. He's like, guys, look at the eight-hour money flow. It's going up. Continuation, okay? Schaefer on spot. Shout out to Jonathan Schaefer. We have Lunar Beaches Crypto giving you guys the beautiful ABC123 Good goodness, guys. Crazy. Kyle with the trade setup this morning. Brewberry with the morning live stream on market open. Okay. I'm 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 sad I missed it. Okay. I did the update video this morning, like I do every morning. Guys, this is I don't know how much value we can give you. I'm not normally one to like toot the horn, but I think the community that we are building here is unparalleled unparalleled we're changing the game 
You know why? Because we give it away for free and we have a community of like-minded people all crushing it together, working together. Guys, they wanted me to do a collab with Geo again. I shared the link. Look, here's the link to the video. Oh, not that one. Is it still doing it? Let's see. Share link. Copy. Look at this. They want me to go live with Geo. I cannot explain why this is happening. On YouTube, the thumbnail is this. This is the thumbnail. But they seem to want me to go live with Geo. I apologize for that. We did Geo yesterday. Don't make any rude comments, okay? Don't make any rude comments. So, did I catch the second move of the pump? No. Why? Me and, me and Nono were going shopping for some, some salami. Manja, right. manja, manja. We get in the salami. Veneto. The Veneto. Yeah. The Veneto. The Bene. Tutto Bene Veneto. We got the fresh bread. We got the Havarti cheese. With the provolone. We got the Veneto salami. We got the fresh Italian bread. Bada bing. Bada boom. Making a, making a sandwich. Okay. The sandwich. You got to have a good sandwich. Okay. You got to have a good sandwich. Look at all these guys. What's going on? Mark Dutch in the chat. Dave Digital. Gio was great. Enjoyed your collaboration. Thank you, Andy Lee. R3A, what's going on? Sunrise369, damn, damn fine. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, I'm trying to do, say anything. To, to say anything. I don't know what you're saying, Jonathan Schaefer. Also. Also. Okay. We did a short. And like, <laughs> we did a short the other day with no, no. Okay, no, no. We explained to him where we were at. Okay, I didn't share it here. I got it here on my shorts. Okay. That's Bitcoin, right? Yeah. And it's dropped. Look, it's Bitcoin and it's dropped. Do I have to show you guys on the charts as well? Oh, wait, wait. That's a special gift we have for you guys. Ha <laughs> ha. What are you gonna keep dropping? Do you think it's gonna or keep do you think dropping? It's gonna go up. No, 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 it's gonna go up, go up. From there? Once it's done like that, it's gonna go up, yeah. You can't go down forever, right? No. Okay. Because right now it went up and then it went sideways, you see? Yeah. It went and then it dropped, but only a little bit. It doesn't come below here. No, no. So it should keep going. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, guys. I'm not saying this guy is like a, a secret weapon, but I'm saying this guy is a secret weapon, guys. There's no way. He's watching the news. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and he called it. He called it. He called it, okay? Are we taking the render trade at $12 now, Alex O. Crypto? Sunrise is in a short. All good. Awesome, man. Awesome. What's going on? Crypto Billy's in the chat. My man. Billy Goat Tails. Crypto Billy. Crushing it. We got 75 viewers in here. 27 likes. Let's get those likes up to the viewers, my friends. How do you guys feel on this, uh, this dip? I need to see a one in the chat if you bought the dip. If you bought something on this dip, let me know. Put a one in the chat, please, and thank you. Okay? The, now, the poll is multiple long setups in our Discord. You take it? Cha-ching, 10%. Long, 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 27%. 43% missed it. And then another 20 <laughs> You guys were all buying salami like me, yeah? You guys were all... You guys are already buying salami. Oh, I see ones in the chat, man. Buy, buy, buy. Buy, buy, buy Bitcoin price. I bought some injective, some Tia, some Bitcoin. I bought some more Bitcoin, guys. I bought nine grand worth of Bitcoin yesterday. Yesterday. What a buy. I don't know. If it pumps from here, it's what a buy, right? What a buy. Nine grand worth of Bitcoin. Okay, I, I'll show you the receipts if you want to see the receipts. I always show you my receipts. If you ask for my receipts, you get my receipts, okay? Okay? Now, 
let's not get too ahead of ourselves because I'm in my second second year of crypto, okay? Second year, yeah, that's true, okay? First year, lots of learning. Jonathan Schaefer's short right now, okay? So, guys, let's take a deep breath. We got a big, you know, five, what was it? Five, six percent move. Whew. Whew. And uh, we don't want to, we don't want to, <laughs> We don't want to end up like this guy, okay? We want to be patient. We want to let, let the price come to us. We want to have a plan, okay? Lots of, lots of planning here, okay? So we want to make sure that we're all prepared for this good stuff here, okay? Okay? Now, you know me. If you follow me on Twitter, go over and follow me on Twitter if you don't mind. Um, I just paid for the verification, okay? I don't know. Maybe I get a check mark in a couple of days. But you know I always share quotes okay and dave digital dave digital always makes them into utter utterly utterly fantastic beautiful memes okay the primary cause of unhappiness never the situation but your thought about it that's eckhart tolle okay so it's all in your head guys it's all in your head so you got to stay positive we're a pretty positive channel i don't know what to say 90 69 121. Guys, I'm sorry. I was off by like a couple hundred bucks for the short. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yet again, I'm sorry. I think you had enough time to be ready for this trade. That's all I'm saying. Okay? You had enough time. You had plenty of time. Obviously, do your own research. Well, Arnold Clutes, please. How does Arnold do cardio? Your investor. He lifts weights faster. Okay, that's my Arnold quote for the day. <laughs> I'm definitely underachieving. Walsh, Jesse, we're going to change that, buddy. We're going to change that. Sparky Loft, what exchange do you use to buy spot and leverage trading in Canada? I use NDAX, okay? Um, NDAX, and I do leverage trading with a VPN on Bing X, my friend. Sparky Loft, thank you for being here, Sparky Loft. But we use NDAX, N D A X, NDAX. Okay, so it's a you can also do it on Well Simple. Um, NDAX, NDAX, NDAX. Okay, that's what I use in Canada. Well, I like, I like you. It's nice. I prefer Borat, says Mark Dutch. No, my neighbor. His name is Mark. Well, I like. <laughs> so we gave you guys this short area where we were looking for a rejection. We gave you the sell level as well where we had a lot of turbulence in the price action. So even when I'm buying salami, we were able to give you this buy level. We were able to give you the sell and this was a sell, and then a retrace, and then it continued upwards. We were also able to give you the 69.121 level that we are currently rejecting from right now. Okay? So, my name is Mark. Yagbag Kuliagbai. He is my neighbor. Not only humans. What's going on, Curtis Neal, man? Luke Zaldana, I don't want to be at work, just want to be learning. My man, I know how that feels, man. I know how that feels. I w I'm a carpenter by trade, okay? I've been building houses for the last 13 years. I didn't like. I came home exhausted, and I spent lots of time on the charts, guys. Um, so if a, if a tradesman, if a carpenter... A guy who cuts wood, nails, hammers, you know, let's get hammered and get nailed by a carpenter. You know that joke. Um, if I could do it coming home exhausted from a hard day's work of construction, you can too. So there is hope here. right? You, you do a 10, 12-hour day. By the time you're home, you're exhausted. You jump on the charts. You catch some Alex O. Crypto. He tries to give you everything he possibly can. Um, because he knows where you've been, and we want to create that life of freedom for you and for everybody else here. And I do believe that, you know, me, if I can do it, you can do it too. So we want to create that atmosphere too. 
join us in the Discord and, and we'll help you as much as we can. And if there's any questions, ask them. Tag me in the Discord. Say, Alex O Crypto, what the hell is a volume profile, fixed range volume profile? How do you use that? How do you get into a trade? What are you doing? What are you thinking? What is your process? And by doing that, we can all grow together. And you just become another member of the Otter Gang members. And you're just another member helping another member. And by helping another member, we create a collective group of people who are actually trading, changing their lives by trading, helping one another by trading. And together, we win. That's how I look at it, right? That's how I look at it, right? Together we win, right? We use Market Cipher. We use all these good things to help us forecast where we're going to go, how we're going to get there, and what we're looking for. So we're going to do the top-down top down analysis, paralysis. We don't want to clutter up our charts too much. We want to just keep it clean and simple. We can go over the trade setups that were given in advance um, from yesterday. So we had Chop Chop City, right? We had Chop Chop City coming in, chop, chop, chop. We took the long from here, we got out here. We took the long from here, we got out here. Okay, both of those trades were documented and given in advance. Now we've come down back to our test level and bounce, perfect test level, perfect level of support, okay? Bounce from there. There was multiple opportunities to get into this long, okay? What sucks is that this happened at 12 o'clock at night, okay? So we mark it out with verticals, and then our trading day started, let's say, around seven o'clock. I think you should start Get into the charts at least at 7 o'clock. I would prefer 6 o'clock, okay? I'm preparing for that New York Open. Okay, so you can see that right now the FOMO has kicked in. You just missed a 2.5% move while you were sleeping. Okay, maybe you, you're living in the UK and you woke up and you still missed that move because it's whatever. It's 4 a.m. here, okay? So this is your trading day. You wake up to this, you're perplexed. But you can see that money flow is coming into the market. Woo! Woo wee! Right? It's stalling out here at the top of the range, tapping on a key level of resistance. You can either do one or two things. You can wait for the 382 continuation bounce, or you can look for the breakout retest. Okay, You can also note that Kyle um, gave you that setup early in advance. I also talked about this on the morning update video, where we can look for that bounce and continuation. Okay, We also could have looked for the swing failure and continuation that way as well. If you want to get into the nitty gritty, I would have pulled a swing low to swing high and looked for that 382 bounce, okay? There's that 382 bounce, 5.5. You look at that, you see the momentum crossing over, volume crossing over, money flow crossing over, multiple things suggesting more upside. And Kyle even mentioned in his post that volume was coming in. Make sure you use volume, guys. Remember, we talked to Geo yesterday about volume and those candles, how they can be recovered. However, they go off of volume. These, this Trader's Reality candles go off of volume. So if anything, you want to have volume, a basic volume on your charts. For me, I take off the moving average. I make them the same color. You don't want this red and green. Okay, that will change your bias. Make them the same color because volume is volume is volume is volume. It doesn't matter what color your dang volume is, okay? So you can see here we get volume picking up slowly but surely on the way up here, coming into this pump. You can see the volume picks up quite dramatically, literally on the re just before the retest right here. Look at that. You pump up, you retest, and you continue off to the races. That's your trade set up there. Protecting yourself below the lows here, giving yourself a little bit of breathing room, and look at that. We banged off up to our key sell level, that we had earlier on. That's your easy trade setup this morning, okay? That's how you see it. That's how you predict it. That's how you use it with market cipher. Look at the money flow crossover. Look at your beautiful, um, beautiful um, price action coming up. Another indication over here. We look at price action and we look at market structure. What happened on this move up here? We took out key highs, okay? We took out those highs with this pump here. We didn't initially. Right? But this is at 4 a.m. in the morning. We're not looking at this. But when we come and assess the price action this morning, we can see that we have taken out and broken structure to the upside. Okay, We've taken out that, suggesting a continuation to the upside as well. Okay, So very, very key things to be noting as you're looking at what you could have gotten into and why you would have taken this long trade. Okay, 
Also, we have that key buy level here suggesting we wanted to see that move at least back up to our key level of resistance of the highs of the entire range. Buy the lows, sell the highs, right? Now we started up here. We want to see that continuation to the upside, okay? As you can see, breaking up, coming up to our key sell wall. We hit this once, we reject it down. Even this is a, a nice little more than half a percent. Even this is the same thing, but you can track momentum. Remember, we talk about momentum. So your first tracking of momentum is this here, right? As you come back to it, you can see um, it was hard to break, okay? Very hard to break. You came back to it, retest. Came back to it, retest. And this allows you to move your stop loss along your momentum trend line so that you guarantee yourself some good profits, okay? You can see you came back and retested it and fired off to the upside. So that momentum was very key to be tracking as well. As soon as you jump into this long trade, you're tracking momentum, okay? So your next high immediately, your next immediate high is your level, right? And you're looking for it to come back. Okay, maybe you get out here because you came up to a key level. Maybe you just adjust it to this one now, right? So there's many ways to track momentum. We won't get too deep into that. Then you could track this momentum if you jumped in a little bit late. Okay, and uh, until this is broken, you can see right now you're probably bouncing off a of fib, right? This looks like a, yeah, a 618. Oh, look at that. Perfect touch, 618. Continuation, right? However, a little bit overextended. Volume is decreasing, okay? So that's something to be cautious about. A little bit of a bounce here off of the previous resistance retesting highs as well looking for that continuation to the upside okay many many ways to look at this and trade this um there's tons of opportunities and we're getting very intense big moves to the upside big moves to the downside so there's always money to be made always money to be made okay let's go into the chat thank you guys so much for being here smashing up those like buttons we got 112 people here much love to every single one of you. We got Spider-Man in the chat. What's going on, Spider-Man? Much love to you. Much love to you. Define VWAP, POC, value area low, value area high, VRVP, FRVP, FIB, NPOC, VA, MCA, MCB. No matter the question, we got you covered. That's the one. VWAP, volume, weighted, average, price, point of control, value area low, value. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? Much love to every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for being here. B-Team Crypto in the chat. What's going on? Much love to all of you guys in the chat. Let's throw some otters in the chat for all those people making money and all those people who want to make some money. You're in the right place, man. We got you covered here at Alex O Crypto. We're so grateful to have you guys here. And hopefully, we can deliver value to all of you new people who are, are coming on board and hanging out with the Otter Gang because we've been crushing it as a community breaking down the trades for every single day that we have been given and also giving altcoin trades and other setups as well like the solana one that we gave a couple days ago and it is still in play okay so we we are con consist do wap says curtis neil we are consistently crushing it as a community thank you guys so much for being here and supporting this channel Let's get into the top-down analysis after going over the trade setups today. So we'll get rid of the sell, right? We're going to reset. We're going to get rid of the buy. We're going to reset. We're going to get rid of the trend line. We're going to reset, okay? And we're going to do top-down analysis, keeping our key levels. And today we're going to go over some fixed range volume profile at our halftime show, okay? So we're going to do the FRVP tool just showing you how I use it, the type of um, things that I'm looking for in an FRVP and how you can use it to apply to your charts so that you can have these key levels where you're getting a reaction on price and you're able to take the shorts. You're able to identify where to take profits, where to be considering a reversal, right? All these good things. So we'll go over that today. In a little bit more detail so you guys can see i think it's a very very strong tool and it's free and it's free right f r v p fixed range volume profile under projection and we'll go over that as well so let's go over bitcoin baby all right so this morning 
I was saying that the three day is going to be our North Star. The three day VWAP has flattened out. Okay, we've had the push up, now we've flattened out. Okay, and we were anticipating the flattening of this VWAP. We were anticipating a crossover, but then we got that rejection the other day. Flattening out, looking for that return to the zero line, crossing over to the upside. Okay. Now, what also is interesting is our stochastics look to be able to turn up for what, right? Turn it up for what? So that's looking good. Nonetheless, we will get rid of our support and resistance lines here. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful candle to the upside. Okay. We still got a day on this candle. So this could engulf. Okay. And if this pushes up and gets above this candle here and engulfs this candle, this could be very bullish. Okay. This could be very bullish. As you can see, we're winding in this beautiful triangle looking for that break up to the upside. Until we break down and take out significant lows, we aren't looking for big shorts. Okay, We're looking for little shorts within this range here. However, we aren't looking for those big moves unless it's a swing failure pattern, bearish divergence to the downside. Okay, That's the only way that we will be looking for shorts. We're favoring longs. We're looking to position ourselves for longs so that we can hold on to trades longer and profit, make more money from them, right? Because we want to make more money and we want to have less risky plays. So the trend is your friend until the end, until it isn't your friend and then it wrecks you. So we also know how to set a good stop loss and we're also practicing good risk management, okay? Woo! Ooh, this is fire. Some good tea, man. That's some good tea. We got the green tea today, so we're we're firing off on all cylinders. Looking at the two-day here. Look how flat the VWAP is, okay? We've gotten two confirmed red dot momentum waves to the downside with money still relatively strong. You know, money to me is pretty strong above 15. So if we draw a horizontal here, you got to understand where um, things are to are strong, okay? VWAP is very overextended up at 15 and very under um over under oversold when it's underneath that right you can see the purple lines here that we've added so that's at 10 and negative 10 okay and that's for our vwap so we can look for vwap to bounce and get rejected in between the 10 line here this is also very very useful you can see reversal here possible reversal right you can see here possible reversal down right so this is for a VWAP, right? And you can see here that we've had two confirmed red dots, anchor, trigger wave, but money flow is king, right? So money, we want to continue upwards. Money looks bullish. We're oversold. We want to see that continuation upwards. So we're looking for the VWAP to lead the way for this curvature to come this way and the money flow to flatten out and turn back up, okay? So that's kind of where we're looking at on the two-day and you can see this very beautiful bullish candle to the upside, okay? The real King Solomon. I'm still bearish. Let's see what happens. I like that. I like that. You know what? I was doing this today, okay? Let's look at this in a different way, okay? Let's zoom out a little bit. A little bit of contrarian view, okay? It's always good to look at the contrarian view. How, what is a tool? Does anybody know in the chat? What is a tool you can use to have a contrarian view? Okay, how do you look at this differently? Alt I, baby. Alt I. Okay, now we've inverted the charts. Okay, I'm tripping you guys out. Okay, <sighs> invert your charts every now and then. You got to invert your charts. Okay, so if we were in, let's say, in a bearish market, right? And this is your chart. What are you seeing here, guys? What are you seeing here? Double bottom, right? Right, big sell off, double bottom, right? I would at least anticipate a move probably back to here, right? You swing both ways, eh, Spider Man? <laughs> we'll call you um, Patricia Parker then. I don't know. I'm just, I, I don't know. <laughs> so you flip the chart, right? You give yourself a different perspective, and you can see a double bottom here. If you're looking at this on the daily, what are you anticipating, right? What are you anticipating? One thing you got to note is that I would be pulling a fib from swing low to swing high here. I'd be looking for that Fibonacci level coming in and looking for that, that rejection coming back up and that rejection down, making higher lows 
on this pattern here. So what do I want to see? I want to see higher highs and that continuation. That's what I would be looking for if we are looking for this to bottom, right? However, right now we have pushed back up. Okay. So you are still making a higher low, but nonetheless, you're right here right now, right? So that's what we're looking at if we were in a bearish scenario. Now we know that we've gone through a very bearish time. So the bull run is on. The halving is in 16 days or whatever it is, 15, 16 days. Um, the 19th, right? So the 19th is right here. There's your halving. Now, if we go back in time, when was the halving in 2020? Was that May 10th? Correct me if I'm wrong, May 10th? May 10th. Let's go to May 10th. I believe 2020 May 10th, right? Whew, look who has it marked out. Ready for you guys. I'm ready for you guys, man. I'm ready for you guys. Look at this, okay? Look at this. So if we go to having on May 10th, what happened, right? What happened? This is just something to look at, right? So May 10th was our having, right? Leading up to our having, we had this very bullish run, okay? Very bullish leading up to the halving. Then we had a correction. Now, guys, this correction is only about 7%. Um, this candle here on May 10th. Okay, so ooh, this daily candle is actually quite bigger. 15% correction, okay? 15% May 11th, by the way. Depends if you live in Australia or not. <laughs> Maybe a band-aid. <laughs> <gasps> oh, BTC having 2020, May 11th. You are right. You are right. Okay. So Monday, May 11th. Okay. But into that having, you saw one, two, three, four day, four day sell off coming into it. Okay. So four day sell off, about a 20% correction and a V-shaped recovery, okay? So it was a buy the rumor, sell the news, V-shaped recovery, consolidating sideways, okay? And then what happened after that? Consolidating sideways, that low that we put in after that halving, the low that we put in after the halving was never seen again, okay? Was never ever, 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 ever seen again. Okay. I thought this was pretty interesting, guys. I thought this was pretty, I'm not, I ain't, I ain't no like long-term macro super analysis. I just look at history and I know it tends to rhyme. Okay. It tends to rhyme. So buy, sell V-shaped recovery, never, a little bit of a retest, but never seeing it again. And this happened. And this is a big correction here. This is a big correction here. But this pump, of all pumps, look at this correction here. Whew. Okay, there's a shakeup for the final, final phase, okay? Majin Buu shit. So just wanted to bring that to your attention. Pretty interesting, in my opinion. I was looking at that today because I'm like, what do I, how do I look at this contrarian? I invert the chart, okay? Um, so, what do we say? Four days, five days? April 19th? How long is that? What do we got here? 14 days. So let's have a week to, a week, nine days. Let's have nine days to the upside. And then let's get a dump. And then a V-shaped recovery. How about that? And you heard it here. If it happens, we laugh as a community, okay? Because up or down, we're still going to be able to trade the range and make money. Don't get it twisted. We always crushing it every single day. However, we prepare, right? We prepare. A prepared trader is a profitable trader. A patient trader is a profitable trader. So together, let's crush it, okay? I thought I'd take a little side note for you guys here. Considering I got two hours. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are crazy. Now, one thing I definitely um, noted to my bias this morning, 
and I mentioned this in the in the update morning video, was the dollar index. Okay, so guys, always check your dollar at the beginning of the day, always, always. And what happened? I said it in in the morning update. I'm like, okay, if we take out this low, it's bearish, my friends. It's bearish. It's bearish Soloway. Okay, and we did, we did, and we've been dumping. So we look for that retest and continuation to the downside, which means upside for risk on assets generally, okay? Generally. So we always check the Dixie. What else do we always check? We always check our calendar, right? We always check our calendar. And go to our impact, right? Checking your calendar. Today, who cares about Canada balance of trade? You know, we just inflation, just in Trudeau. We don't, whatever, we just suffer. There's rain tax in Toronto. <laughs> but tomorrow we have non-farm payrolls and unemployment rate at 8 30 in the morning now i will be getting you my update morning video like i always do for you guys but you will definitely have to be prepared at 8 30 a.m i suggest not trading that's just me i've learned my lesson on these things right and we learned our lesson the other day on that quick snappy pump to the upside at 10 a.m that absolutely wrecked a lot of people right if we go back, this, this pump right here, we had news at 10 a.m. Okay, this pump right here, right here. We had news at 10 a.m. Look, 10 a.m. That's what happened. And we were favoring shorts here. Short, short, short. Bearish divergence, higher highs, lower lows. We're getting into a short. And what happens? The news comes out, and you get a V-shaped recovery, knocking everybody who went short here. You're in profits. You put your stop loss to profit. You're looking for trade to run. Right, and you get a V-shaped recovery, blast off, ruining your trade, and then two minutes later we're back chopping sideways here. Okay, so we prepare by doing that, by doing our due diligence, checking the dollar index, and also checking our calendar to build confluence within our charts so that we're protected as traders. Right, we got to be in and out, getting our profits and and protecting ourselves and and securing the bag. Right, um, and by doing that as a community, we crush in it. Okay, we crush in it. Barris Soloway. That's the one, man. Oh, man. That's that's Crypto Blood's fault. I don't care what they say. That's Crypto Blood's fault. Barris Soloway. Oh, my God. There's a... I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm I'm too kind to do that, to make fun of people. Sorry. Gareth is a very successful trader, and I would never want to disrespect anybody like that. I just thought it was funny, and humor is good, okay? Humor is good. It's good to have a laugh, okay? <laughs> oh. It is a meme coin. It's called Broke. <laughs> and that's as far as I'm going. Um... <laughs> So we're getting a push. We're getting a push. Sixty-nine thousand guys in the in in the in the thumbnail. So looking at the daily, what is the daily suggesting here? Okay, so we got a mini mini anchor, double green dot to trigger trigger pushing on up. View up crossing over to the upside, approaching the zero line. We're gonna wait for that reaction at the zero line. It's gonna really give us an indication of which direction we want to go for tomorrow. Okay, that's going to be crucial when we get the print tonight. This should be up and able to cross the zero line and looking for that continuation to the upside on the VWAP. Money flows bouncing and coming back in. Very nice move today, okay? Very, very nice. Almost 7% move from the bottoms here, guys. We are absolutely ripping it. Ripping it, okay? And we just made a higher high on the macro or on the, on the micro time frames, okay? You can see here we have just actually taken out this high here. Right, so this suggests continuation already. Look, we've taken out these highs. Lower low, higher high. That's on the eight minute, okay? Um, so we look for the retesting continuation. Crazy, crazy, crazy times, man. It's good to be alive. It's good to be part of the Bitcoin community. It's great to have your guys' support. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Smashing up the like buttons. There's 100 and almost 40 people in here. 60 likes. Let's get those likes up, and hopefully we can bring you some more alpha on all your altcoins as well so guys throw your altcoins in the chat 
and we will select uh B Team Crypto. B Team Crypto. I'm putting you up to the task to tally up eight. Eight. Eight altcoins. Okay. You guys first come, first serve. B Team Crypto, I'm asking you a favor. My man, the grappler, the granite grappler, Kung Fu Master. Utterly fantastic man. Much love to you. And hopefully you guys throw some altcoins in the comments down below so that we can do some TA on those for you guys because, you know, there's other things to play with. And here's the granite gra grappler doing his Kung Fu otter stuff, okay? I thought I'd share this with you. Otter gang, gang, gang. A bunch of otters in the chat. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So going over to the 12 hour, this was kind of our leading indicator to this push upwards, okay? If we go back and we rewind and we look at what our 12 was suggesting over here, okay? Woof. Love a good rewind tool, okay? We'll change this to one. We'll press play. Give me a candle. Woof. First candle, flattening of the VWAP, okay? Flattening of the VWAP. Second candle, whoo, posturing to the upside. VWAP, money flattening out. Stochastics flattening out, posturing to the upside, okay? Whoo, approaching the zero line, even though it's a red candle. Boom, to the upside, VWAP crossover, now printing a double green dot, okay? Mark Dutch with the gifted membership. God bless you, bro. Wesley Vandenbrack, welcome to the Otter Gang, 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 gang. Did you know Alex get more views than many channels four times his size? Ah, oh, I did not know that. But I know that the Otter Gang is loyal to the coil. And I know that they support the channel and they've been nothing but kind to me. And I think we have, like, I, I, I'm pretty sure we have the best Discord because it's free. It's got five people doing TA. It's got no douchebags allowed. And there's cute otter pictures. Like, what more, what more do you want? <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, it's, it's amazing. You guys turn up for me and show up for me, and I appreciate you guys. So we continue to crush it as a community. Okay, so the 12 hour was very leading in this whole thing. Now we really want to see this money flow absolutely go on a tear. Okay, you can see here it has rolled up. So we want to see that continuation to the upside for this. Stochastic, VWAP, momentum waves all pointing to the upside. You can see that continuation as well on the momentum waves. Very, very good looking. Nonetheless, we are coming up to, um, <laughs> we are coming up to this resistance okay above us thank you b team crypto my man my man we're gonna have to get that guy a a wrench in the discord pretty soon him we'll have to have him and mark dutch wrestle for it and now i know b team crypto is a jiu-jitsu master so mark dutch you're allowed to um to wear clogs if that if that helps if that helps maybe maybe it'll help no douchebags, but we love Dutchie. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Any oh, the no-no indicator. Alexandra G is absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Alexandra G knows. We got no-no. <laughs> we got no-no. Oh. <laughs> Dave, man. Oh, man, Dave. MJ, live trading sessions is what Discord needs. We, there's a live trading session every market open with Brewberry. He'll be live tomorrow. He was live this morning. I missed it. You can see the stage here, Brewberry stage, Alex O'Crypto's stage. I only, I only dance on that stage, though. Um, but Brewberry goes live in the morning now. Um, so you can catch his market opens. And I also do an update video for you guys in the morning as well. So lots there. Lots there for you, my friend. Okay. So the 12 hours looking juicy. Now has the four hour money flow behaved itself? Let's see and take a look here. Because we were seeing a lot of sketchiness with the four hour here. Yeah. Okay. So 
four hours curling back in, which is good. We were looking for this momentum to continue up. We didn't really get that. And you can see we crossed over in the red, and now it looks like we're approaching to go up into the green. Okay? Alex dancing, noise. That's all I got. Um, I don't do... You guys got to teach me the the Fortnite dances, okay? Um, I'm too old for that. So four-hour VWAP heavily overextended. I, you don't ne necessarily see VWAP around 23.2, but hey-ho, there it is, okay? Um, very, very hyperextended. You see that over here a little bit? Yeah. I got to 26, but yeah, nonetheless, we are overextended on the VWAP. A cool-off is indicative, but... Right now, I'd just be patient. This is this is a violent move to the upside. A little cool off coming up to key levels of resistance here that we have marked out on our chart. Okay, so where's my yeah boy? Okay, so Alex, why did you ban Wesley? Wesley, who? Did Wesley get banned? We are going to start with Avalanche today, Wesley. Absolutely. I don't know. Did someone get banned that wasn't supposed to be banned? Um, we, we, can, we can amend that. We can amend that. Were you being a douchebag? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so coming up here, you can see that we are bouncing probably off of a 786. Golden pocket from here, 786 from here. Okay. We're bouncing off a retracement level, key level of resistance, coming up to the underside of these lows, okay? So just like when we, just like when we retest highs, okay? So you can see we're retesting the lows here. We typically retest highs. You can see that here when we pushed up and retest the high here, okay? We are retesting the lows. It happens both ways, okay? Right, so for us, what do we anticipate? We anticipate something like this, and then like this, and then maybe that, okay? Be patient. Be patient. We're going into the weekend at, after tomorrow, and we have news coming out tomorrow, which is going to definitely be volatile, in my opinion, okay? What's going on, Melissa? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for your tutorial on Fib Extension. I think I charted pin Pendle correctly. Thank you. Awesome, Andy. We're gonna go over the f the trend or the f fixed range volume profile FRVP today, and do a little bit of rundown on that, and then we're gonna go into the altcoins as well. So, for now, with Bitcoin, what are we looking for? What are the trade setups? How are we looking to trade this? Well, we're gonna have to establish where our key levels of support and resistance are and what we are looking for on the chart, okay? So first and foremost, we're going to look for key levels of support because I feel like we're a little bit overextended, okay? So we're gonna close this. We're gonna go from the beginning of the move. What do I mean by that? Okay, where did this move begin? Begin. Was it here? Was it here? Was it here? Was it here? Right? The beginning of the move, in my opinion, is from here. Okay, this may not be um, relevant to us right now, but we'll, we'll go from here and we'll, we'll mark out and try to find confluence within our charts, okay? So we can see a 382 coming in at this resistance level. Do we have a level there? Not really. We do have a, a golden pocket down here. So we're going to mark out this area right here because there's confluence at this golden pocket. What do I mean by confluence? Multiple things pointing to the same thing. We got previous highs here, okay? We have um, a beautiful, beautiful volume level here as well, okay? The, the support and resistance is matched with volume, okay? That's so we can get a reaction on price. So that's my first key buy zone, okay? That's what I'm first going to look at. Now we can get into the nitty-gritty. So we'll go into like a 15-minute, and we'll look at the price more zoomed in, okay? We could have looked at jumping on a long right here. This is a fib. Um, golden pocket, swing low to swing high, golden pocket, perfect touch right here, continuing to the upside. However, I'm going to mark out this high here because I know there's a volume area here and there's also um, resistance that was touched here. It's going to go below the volume area here because we're looking for either a touch, 
and a bounce, or we're looking for a reaction in price within that area and a continuation to the upside, okay? Multiple areas of confluence, okay? We're looking for reactions of price within these zones. So I don't want to see um, price just kind of willy-nilly just bounce from here. I want to see it maybe touch the area, create some higher, higher highs, and then the second higher low I'm looking to enter, okay? Otherwise, I'm looking for this to create a lower low, but come back down here and create some sort of structure and then continuation as well. Okay, so this is a very good sign so far, but nonetheless, where is our big target? Our big target hasn't changed yet, right? Because we are still in a downtrend in my opinion. Okay, we have made higher lows and higher highs on the way up here. We have done this, okay? However, we have not yet taken out this high here, okay? We have gone from high to low to high to low, higher low, higher high, right? So we're either anticipating a lower low here or a higher low here, sorry, and a continuation, or we're expecting this to continue up, take out these key highs here, then retrace and then continue onwards and upwards, okay? But we want to see on a higher term time frame, we want to see these highs taken out, okay? That would give me a confirmation of trend change, okay? Back to the upside. Um, we could simply look for that um, continuation though, coming up this way as well, okay? So multiple confluences, we want to find those areas on Bitcoin. So we have our two key areas that we are looking for buys if price does cool off that we have marked out here. Keep it nice and neat, um, marked out. And then where's our resistance? Well, our resistance is clearly where we're touching right now that we gave in advance where we were looking for a possible rejection um, earlier on today, and we came up and we perfectly touched it, okay? Then we have... <laughs> Then we have the full range here that we can pull from swing high to swing low. Let's pull that all the way down. And that's a golden pocket. Look at that golden pocket lining up perfectly with our resistance and then our 786 as well. So those are gonna be my main areas where we're looking for a reaction of price where we can find confluences. And then we look for divergences. We look for exhaustion. We look for um, wicks um, and then reversal of prices and market structure changes within these boxes to add confluence to making ourselves profitable okay sorry third and second previous weekly opens what's going on astro work seems like it's currently between the previous two weeks and opens hope you're doing well man curtis neal what's going on man dave digital with the otters melissa in the chat alexandra g g g g g g i don't see enough talking in this chat guys let's see some otters in the chat and on Friday, because we have finally, the rock has come back. Um, because we have, um, because we have finally cracked 2,500 subscribers. <laughs> Woo! 2,500 subscribers. Guys, this is crazy, man. I never thought this would happen. I never thought this would happen. We doing a giveaway. Friday, we're gonna do a giveaway on Friday. This Friday here, if you're new here, if you're new here, Friday is absolutely bonkers, okay? We're playing Country Road for Dave Digital, Sweet Home Alabama, all right? We dancing, we got pump music, we got a special guest. He only shows up on Fridays. His name is Arnold Schwarzenegger. All right? He's the governor. He says, do it now. Put the cookie down. Okay? And we're going to do a giveaway. We're going to give you guys some money because you guys deserve it. Um, why not? Why not? Um, we'll start with 50 bucks. Maybe if we're generous, we'll give 100 bucks out. USDT, not, not Canadian pesos, okay? Actual money, you know? It's an out of game. Arnold will be there. Stop whining. <laughs> Just do it now. 
And um, we're going to try to make this giveaway a regular thing. We just got to figure it all out, obviously. Um, this is me, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> A little, little, little intro. A little. Who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Do it now. Okay, Arnold. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you on Friday. Goodbye. <laughs> Why are you not on a treadmill? Because we're... Jason Rue, the reason why we're not on a treadmill is because we're pedaling, okay? You know how a swan glides across the water, but you don't see its legs underneath the table? You know? You know? Okay? So, underneath the table... Underneath the table, we pedaling. It just looks like I'm not breaking a sweat like everybody else. Okay? Back on my bike. Okay? It just looks like, you see? I can, when you see me sort of move like this, I'm pushing the pedals, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh man too good andy lee with the ten dollars super chat god bless you andy lee thank this otter gang community has my heart thank you alex oh much love everyone andy lee andy lee oh my god i'm still laughing at myself for the stupid stupid pedal thing god bless you andy lee much love Thank you for supporting. You have our hearts, too. I mean, we're here for you, and hopefully we can uh, bring you some alpha, some, some real good, no, no BS, no BS. I don't believe it, says Mac Mascot. We got the pedal thing, man. Thank you so much, Andy Lee, for supporting the channel. You're a sweetheart. I mean, thank you. Thank you. So we're going to go over FRVP. We've given you guys the levels for Bitcoin, where we're looking for a reaction on price. And we always share these out in our Discord, okay? And the Discord should be linked in the description below. Looking for that reaction, right? You want to keep these neat. Charting. And when I say reaction on price, what am I, what am I talking about? I'm looking for candles that either get bought up. You can see the reaction of price here. This candle got absolutely destroyed when it came up into our key area, right? So you can see the continuation here. If you go into the short-term time frame, right? You can see the wick, the John Wick. His grandmother lives here, okay? So you can see that on the chart. Um, also, you're looking for divergences on market cipher. Let's go on to the eight minute. I like the eight minute, okay? You can see anchor trigger wave. Anchor trigger wave. Right? You can see price getting higher while divergences are coming in, right? So you can see that throughout here, lower lows, higher highs. So you're anticipating that quick move to the upside and then that rejection downwards, right? So you see the rejection here. You can anticipate a possible short. From here to here, you pull swing high to swing low. 786 bounce, continuation down. Let's see if market structure breaks here. Right? If we drop down below, we could come down into our buy zone. Look for that bounce, same kind of deal, right? Um, you can also track volume within this area. You can see that volume spikes here and then drops off a map. Okay, that suggests no continuation on the move up. Okay, no continuation on the move up. You can also look at here. Big move up, consolidation sideways. Price is continuing to climb while volume is slowly decreasing, which means buyers are st sellers are not coming in trying to fight this just yet. Okay, that means that price is easily moving up 
even though some people may be shorting here, price is easily still moving up with little to none volume. Okay, you get a spike here, push up, retrace, continuation. Okay, buyers coming back in to push price through a key level of resistance that we had marked out, coming in, pushing us up. Now a little bit of a rejection, most likely coming back to wreck people who got long late. Okay, if you got long here, if you got long here, you could be looking for a little bit of a squeeze before continuing upwards, okay? Definitely worth a gander, okay? Learning so much here. The last lift me up all day, okay? So we're going to go over a fixed range volume profile right now, how I use it, what I do with it, magical tool that helps me be profitable in many, 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 many situations. So first of all, what is it? What does it do? It's volume. It's pulled within a certain range. You can see it's my first tool right here. Fixed range volume profile. Pull it from anywhere to anywhere and get that volume. You can find it over here. Over on projection, fixed range volume profile. Add it to your bar down below. Now you want to capture price. Okay, so you want to go within an area and I'm looking to capture price. This is the area I'm looking to capture. I will pull it from here to here. If I'm looking to capture this area down here, I will pull it within this area in here or within here or within here, right? Or within here or within the entire range, okay? And by doing this, we give ourselves a better opportunity. I like to divide areas with the fixed range volume profile. For me, you can see that we have an area up here that's pretty much untouched, okay? And you can see we have an area down here that has a lot of consolidation in it, okay? So there's, there's different areas and different ways you can use this throughout your charts. However, I like shelves of volume. It gives you a value area low and a value area high. So we're going to pull this entire range. We're going to go into our settings here quickly with our FBRP VP. I set it to 200 row size. Thank you, Frankie Candles. Much love to you. Um, he is the volume master. However, I have a little bit of a twist on it where I look for shelves of volume and I look for reactions of price within those areas, okay? Um, but typically, you're looking at the value area low, the blue line, the value area high, the overextended line, and then the point of control in the middle, okay? In the middle. So in the middle with you. When price deviates outside of the value area high, you're typically looking for shorts. When value gets outside of the value area low, you're typically looking for longs, okay? And this can be used very strategically within a range, okay? A range is king with fixed range volume profile, okay? Now, how do I do it a little bit differently? You can see this horizontal line right here, right? So looking at this volume profile, where are the shelves? I always ask you guys, where are the shelves? You can see one here. Where does volume look pretty flat? Okay, volume looks pretty flat here, right through there. You see where I drew the line? Volume peaks right here. Volume peaks right here, right? So I'm going to draw a horizontal line here, and I'm going to draw a horizontal line here, okay? You could also draw one here, depending on how crowded you want your charts. So I draw them as shelves. So you can see here, if I use my arrow tool, there's a shelf here right? There's a shelf here. There's a shelf here. Okay. Also, you can see how we get up here and then the shelf begins here. That's where there's a big change between here and here. There's a big change. That's where it really starts to peak off. You can see it's kind of steady here and then it peaks off there. Where's another one? Right here, right? Where's another one? Point of control. That isn't my line, right? So if I was going to mark this, I know that the point of control is big and thick here, but I'm going to mark on either side of the point of control, right here and right here. I could even drag this one up here. That's where it really starts, right? You can see the difference between the volume over here and the volume up here. So then it gives me key levels over here, okay? And you can see throughout this chart where price has a reaction on this volume, okay? And it's going to be very helpful going forward. Okay, going up to this one here, I'm going to draw out this horizontal here. Oh, look where we're trading right now. So what, what's the difference um, if we're looking for price to move up? If price is moving up, 
I want to mark out this one, okay? If price is moving up, I want to mark out this one because it's the first one it's going to hit. It's not going to hit this one first. It's going to hit this one first, right? So I want to anticipate price. If price is down here, I'm going to mark out this one. If price is up here, I'm going to mark out this one and vice versa, okay? Going up to this level here, I'm going to mark out here. I'm going to mark out here, right? And then I'm going to mark out probably up here, okay? And that's how I use it just to mark out a range. And that's how I get a lot of the levels on my charts over here. So you can see all my levels, right? So I can get rid of these and I mark out those levels as such. Now, from those levels, you can get more intimate, okay? You can get more intimate with these levels, guys. So now we can see that we're banging off on this one here. That was one of our key levels, okay? Very, very beautiful level of resistance. So how do we get more intimate with these levels? Well, you can see that I do have a naked point of control up atop. So we can isolate price and find naked points of control. You can see the NPOC here. Okay, so isolating price. How do we isolate price? Remember I talked about that box at the beginning here. So we wanna take this area here, or we wanna take this area up here, and we wanna isolate it. Okay, so isolating it with the tool. So we will go up here with our fixed range volume profile, and I'll pull it from here to here, and I will get a fixed range volume profile. Now within this fixed range volume profile, I get a point of control. Okay, because no price has touched this, no price has come up and touched this, not even over here, okay? This is now a key level that I can transfer over to where I'm trading, okay? It's gonna allow me to know where price typically wants to go, okay? So I can transfer that naked point of control to the right, and then when I'm trading over here, I can look for a reaction of price. See, we came up to it almost perfectly on that push up recently and we got rejected okay so that was saying we we're coming up to that area which was a key vo volume area which rejected us okay and you can see here if we we're marking at our shelves on this area here where does volume pick up that's right there right so i horizontal mark across there and you can see look at that oh 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 perfect little levels okay i get excited about this stuff this is this is this is beautiful okay so now, woo wee, we're getting a dump. We're gonna dump into our buy zone. Thank you for pointing that out, Jeanette. Let's go and see. Okay, push back down. Coming up to our first micro Fibonacci golden pocket. No reaction on price. Let's see if it gets bought up really fast, okay? Let's go into our five minute. Okay, coming down into our key level. Reaction on price. Let's go into our market cipher. Let's see. Very big anchor. So we want to see anchor trigger wave. Let's go into our three minute. Okay. A little bit of an exhaustion wick. Let's use our fixed range volume profile. Let's pull this area right here. Naked point of control, right? We just talked about it. Right? Coming down in our key area. It's not getting bought up. It's not getting bought up. No trade. No trade. It's coming. I told you it's coming back to grab these guys who are going long late. Okay. Coming back to grab them. Anchor trigger to the downside. Look, being bought up now. Being bought up pretty aggressively. Sometimes it resets and then it continues to push down. Okay. Sometimes it, the candle comes down, resets, then pushes down again. Okay, it drops the hammer. It's like it's reloading and it shoots down again. And you all laughed at me for being short. I did not laugh at you, Schaefer. Schaefer knows his shit. Schaefer knows his shit. Look at this. Oh, naked point of control. Missed it by, <laughs> by $2, man. Sheesh. Now activate the vector candles. Whenever there's green vector candles and you get a red dot, there's a chance that you can recover the green vectors. And look at what's happening right now. Dropping like it's hot, man. Coming back and wrecking people from getting long late. 
This is beautiful market. This is why you pay yourselves, my friends. This is why you pay yourselves. Coming down to a key level of support, we had marked out here. Wow. Okay. Dump it, baby. Dump it. Invalidates this idea. Okay. Let's see if we can form some support up here. Now let's go back to our beautiful, beautiful fixed range volume profile lesson. Okay. So going into our hourly, going into our hourly fixed range volume profile. So you can use it to isolate price within this range here. Same kind of deal. You're going to look for that naked point of control. Look at that confluence within our sell zone. Okay. And that is a golden pocket Fibonacci retracement zone, I believe. Seven, eight, six. Okay. With a naked point of control. You mark them out, you got another key level, right? So by doing this, you can isolate price. You can find key levels of where you're looking for price to have a reaction, okay? It's about having a reaction. The reaction is key. Being able to diagnose the reaction where it's happening is going to be your strongest tool, right? So right now you can see you have taken out significant lows, right? So you've taken out these lows here. Change of market structure. You're waiting for the low to be established and then you're favoring a short now because you have taken out these lows. Unless you're looking to come down here and swing failure, this is our next level for a reaction on price if we get down here. Okay? So you got to be able to diagnose all of these beautiful replay with vector boxes activated full pack man view. <laughs> we laughed at Geo for being short too. <laughs> I'm short as well. So when we do a meetup, you guys are just going to be like, oh my God, I've been listening to a hobbit this whole time. I'm 5'4". I'm 5'4". And like a half. I don't know. Five foot. Sitting. Hold up. Hold up. I got a, I got a trick. What now? What now? My, my, my. This is Godzilla. Who does this? Okay. Put it in the chat. Who does this at the beginning of their videos? Hecklefish. Let's go. I know you guys all watch Hecklefish, right? If you don't watch Hecklefish, we can't be friends. Get to the Jabba. Wow, a little bit of a dump, eh? A little bit of a dump. You think it was going to be that easy, guys? You guys think it was going to be that easy? It's never that easy. Beautiful short, Jonathan Schaefer. Are there any other questions on the fixed range volume profile? You, you saw how I use it. You saw how I isolate price. You can see how you can pull a range to find key levels to support your thesis on where you think price is going to go. And definitely wanting to see. Look at that. Look at that shelf down here, right? You got a shelf up here. Look at this one down here. Okay, one up here. And you want to mark out these levels with confluence as well. So I'm not just going to mark out a shelf because it's a shelf. I want to match it up with support and resistance as well. So not only am I using this as a shelf, but I can see price had a reaction here and here. There's been a reaction on price within this area. Same with here. Shelf here, reaction of price, reaction of price, reaction of price, okay? So there's confluence within your fixed range volume profile. Shelf here, one, two, three, confluence, right? So you want to make sure that support and resistance is in confluence with your shelves as well, adding to the fire to help you guys add confluence to your trades for more profitable trades. Now we're going to go into altcoins. Post is six foot six, but it doesn't judge little people. Post shit's bigger than me. <laughs> I had to go there. Great tutorial on VRP, fixed range volume profile. My, my number one favorite person today. Fixed range volume profile right over here. 
Okay, under projection, fixed range volume profile. Make sure you set it to two to two hundred. Okay, your style, um, value area high, value area low, point of control. You can change your colors how you please. Okay, and by doing that, you can definitely uh definitely have a good little outlook on all the good stuff. Funding rate just went negative. Wow. Okay. So we're going to go into the alts, guys. I know that was long-winded, but um, we got two hours. So we're going to go through the alts right now. Take a look. Maybe it's from here. Uh, I don't like pulling from there. That would be ugly. If it's, if it's from here. Oh, 786 bounce. Okay. Nah, I like this better here. This looks better here. Start of the move. Let's keep it there. Let's see if we get that bounce, my friends. We have broken structure to the downside. Now let's go over to Avalanche because we missed it yesterday. The TA has changed, my friends. The TA has changed. Holy smokes, guys. Um, let's take a look. Let's take a look. So Avalanche losing key levels of support. Rolling over, falling to the ground. Okay, $46 retesting highs. Sheesh. Poor Avalanche. Poor Avalanche. Poor Avalanche. Okay. Gaming is dead. <laughs> oh, man. Look at Avalanche. Okay, I haven't taken a look at Avalanche. Unlike Solana, which seemed to be doing okay, no longer is doing good. So let's see if it continues up here. Nonetheless, we want to do a full overview of Avalanche fixed range volume profile, my friends, of the previous range, pulling it over here. And we can see we got a shelf of support matching up with key highs here. And then we have a little bit of volume here. We want to match that up by zooming in over here. Now we want to go over to where price is actually trading. Okay, now we can see here we are in an aggressive downtrend. Okay, and for me, I would be drawing out this kind of higher high, um, lower highs all the way through here. And then eh, I guess for long term outlook for breaking out to the upside, something like that, eh, it's ugly. It's ugly, but you want to kind of. Yeah, something like that. You want to have a, a larger look too as well. So you can see that your major level of support before falling within that range lies down here at 43.75, okay? With Avalanche, it's not looking too good. But you do have major support down below here on Avalanche, okay? So that's one thing to keep note. Also, let's pull Fib from swing low to swing high. And you're bouncing off the 7.86 right now. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. So let's go into the one hour. One hour is rolling over. Okay, you need to make a higher low here and continue to the upside. A nice crawl back today. However, rolling over, getting everybody bullish, now wrecking them all as well, okay? And tomorrow, 8.30, we have news. So you can see here, we would like to see the bounce continuation. But for now, we look for price to hold 43.75. And in the short-term time frames, you want to see Avalanche bounce from here. We're coming up to the golden pocket 786. So in the small term time frames, if you can get a reaction of price at where we're at right now, we can look for that continuation to the upside. Otherwise, you're looking to swing failure pattern, bullish divergence to the downside here, something like this with continuation to the upside. Okay, that's what you're looking for. However, money flow has just crossed into the red, pushing down aggressively on this little downwards side action right now so that's something going to be a bit concerning my friends as we proceed here we had that beautiful five percent move up to the top nothing stays good forever right coming to our buy zone right now let's see if we do get a reaction on price on bitcoin same with avalanche okay big big buy zone is definitely 4380 okay you want to keep your eyes peeled however four hour money flows coming out Okay, very aggressive sell-off on AVAX. So be cautious on this. Alex, look at S on Alex, look on SP500. 
The S&P 500 is rolling over, rolling, rolling on the river. Okay, not looking too good. Not looking too good. Let's go over to ADA. We got the list up top. I'm sorry if I do not. We got injective second last. So if you stay for the whole whole thing, you, you'll catch injective. Much love to you, Braveheart. Thank you for being here. Sunrise, thank you for pointing that out. And all you guys being here. Stuff I like here is from Vegas. We got 166 people. Our record is 171 that I've seen over here. So let's smash those like buttons and hopefully we can get that up. 169 right now, 94 likes. Let's let's try to keep it keep it pumping. We got a nice trajectory here on our viewership. Look at this up and to the right. So this is like a, a very nice schematic here of our viewership today. So we're we're doing it up and to the right, unlike Bitcoin right now. So thank you guys for being here and supporting the channel. And if you're new here, join us in the free Discord, making calls every single day. Everything is free. We'd love to have you. Don't be a douchebag. <laughs> I don't I don't know how to say it any different. Guys, please submit how to say don't be a douchebag in a nicer way or we'll kick you. Um cuz that's that's me. That's me. Just don't just be kind. Okay? Kindness it's harder to be kind than it is to be mean, okay? So Ada, we did Ada TA yesterday, okay? And it hasn't changed much okay you're between the 786 golden pocket bounce level on the big term time frame here and you can see that we have marked out our key levels of support and resistance getting into the nitty-gritty one hour here you can see that we did push up fake out retest back into this downwards trend line okay so yes we have taken out previous highs that's very important where we are pushing up higher we need to see a higher low here and a continuation on this breakout if we don't get that we look for a double bottom chop sideways boring ass ada price okay so this is a very important level that we are coming to right now you can see it's marked out as imp important okay um point of control up above us here acting as resistance that's going to be right around 61.5 cents okay don't be a deuce don't be a deuce bless your little heart looking for full oi round trip careful with longs okay open interest round trip okay let's see it douchebag or is that bag for shower use <laughs> my god keep the frequency high my friends that's the one right only um high frequency fellows and fellas um is that is is there a fella way of saying females bellas how about how about don't mess with the chicks okay because we 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 respect our ladies here none of that andrew tate bullshit okay looking for the okay this is continuation this is nice anchor trigger money flow is is the problem right money flow is king leading us to the downside very ugly here on the four hour uh, how would you track this i would go from here to here uh, that broke that broke to the upside possible retest coming back down very crucial trend line here as well on ada look at all those one hundos in the chat going off let's smash the one hundo button let's smash the otters in the chat be utterly cool don't be a doge bag okay make sure to smash the like and subscribe if you're new we got much alpha for you guys two hours every single day morning videos five technical analysis great traders great ta all helping us in the discord mine brewberry kyle lunar beaches now schaefer my guys much love to you guys for all the alpha providing free alpha on a daily basis for you guys ada's looking like it wants to bounce however let's see um the reaction bitcoin has within these next couple hours coming down to our buy zone right now as we speak getting a little bit of a pushback however we are going into the evening where we can wait for that kind of confirmation bullish divergence turning back up for what okay so looking really good for ada here holding its ground wanting to see it hold this 57.6 area let's go over to velo 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 i don't know if i've done ta on velo but we'd be looking at it nonetheless let's go over to velo okay newer token zooming out zooming out zooming out okay perfect time to show you guys 
So we're pushing up in this area. We do not have much data within this area. So we go back in time. Play the share song, if I could turn back time. If I could find my way. All right, we pull the fixed range volume profile in the area where price is trading. We can see price. Price is right here. We want to isolate this price to where it's trading. We don't have any data over there. So we want to find some key levels where we can find some reactions on price. We have some over here. So what do we do? We zoom in and we can say, hey, there's another key level. There's a shelf of volume. There's a shelf of volume. Now let's really isolate it. There's another shelf of volume. Support and resistance, okay? Price is still up here. We still need to find a little bit more confluence, okay? Look at this here. Support and resistance matched up with volume, okay? Let's pull this area over here because this is right where we're trading. Not a heck of a lot. Let's pull it back a little bit here to see these two areas here. Trying to encompass as much confluence within these areas as possible. Look at this. We can adjust this a little bit down. We can bring this one up a little bit higher and this one here. Okay, you can see the shelves of volume. Now we've really isolated price and then there's a high here and we have, we want to mark out all time highs. Those are always significant. So we mark out our highs. Now we just hit the refresh button, reset chart view and look at that. We got some key levels, baby. Let's go. Let's go, right? So now we've isolated price. Okay, very quick example going over to VLO here. So we're looking at reactions of price within this range. You can see it has made a higher high. So you had lower low. You had lower low. You've taken out this high by making a higher high. You want to see that retrace and continuation to the upside, okay? Money is still pretty thick green. We want to see that continuation here on the four hour going over to the one hour here. You can see very scamwick. Look at that resistance acting perfectly. Okay, acting perfectly. So now we have this area down below here. We want to pull our fib from swing low to swing high. Okay, look at that golden pocket confluence. Golden pocket confluence. We add that to our trading idea. We're looking for a possible long trade setup from here where we can protect ourselves below here and target the previous highs. Even if we want to go as far as targeting those highs from before, okay? However, there is another tool here that we talked about yesterday, um, and that's a FIB extension, okay? And we can target the 272 or the 618 as well, okay? And you can do that and target those as well for that possible bounce continuation on VLO here. So many ways to isolate price. We just went over fixed range volume profile, and you can see we are getting a little bounce here, but I am looking for this as your key level for continuation to the upside at 0090, okay? Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. We got 171 people in here. What's going on? Welcome to the Alex O Crypto Show. One more and we've broken the record. 171 is our record. Man, this is crazy. You guys are crushing it. Thank you guys so much for being here. Cluck, cluck, motherfuckers, says Crypto Pollo. I'll say the mofos for you. Much love to you, man. Hope you're doing well. We want Arnold. Arnold has taken a break, but you know what? We can go to Arnold sometimes. He has to um, he has to take a break every now and then because he he's Arnold, and, like, he is the governor. And, you know. This is me, Arnold Schwarzenegger. You're not. What? I know I'm calling you again, and you don't really want to hang out, but the people want you. Bastard. Oh, my God. You can't talk like that on the live stream. Who is your daddy, and what does he do? My dad left me. My dad left me. I just want to trade. Do it now. Okay. Do it now. But but can I have a cookie? Put that cookie down. Okay, now. okay, okay. I don't know. Arnold just shows up out of, out of nowhere, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Tell me, as a kid, you guys used to prank call people with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, my God. I'm a cop, you idiot. Stop whining. Stop whining. Stop whining. So you're looking for that bounce continuation on below. The only thing that's really concerning here is, uh, is you're making a lower low here. So you could be looking for this kind of pattern where you are coming down and taking out some lows. 
you can mark out this two below you here where you have your eight six and then your eight zero okay <laughs> do it now smash the like button we just lost 10 viewers guys <laughs> they must have been douchebags <laughs> Oh man, it must have been. That's okay. That's okay. They don't want free setups and you know guys who make good money trading full time. Full time trader, you know, whatever. Let's go over to Jasmine. Oh my god, it's been a while, Mrs. Jasmine. Hope you're doing well. Put the cookie down. <laughs> oh man. Do we have it? Yeah, we do have a Jasmine chart, guys. We were looking at Jasmine back in Donkey's years. Look at this. When I go back to a chart where I should have bought it. <laughs> remember this, guys. Jasmine. Oh, Jasmine. Look at the TA on this, guys. Well, we should have bought. Shouldn't have. We? Look at this, man. Let's get rid of all this stuff because we're probably never seeing these levels again. And that's okay. We were doing TA down here. What's that? Oof, that's a 4X, man. Holy smokes. Okay, so let's isolate price like we just did. Okay, like we just did. Pulling fixed range volume profile swing from here to here. Let's see what we got. We got some key levels marked up with support and resistance shelf here. Shelf here, support and resistance right here. Uh, nope. I would bring this one down a bit. Shelf here. Point of control. Pretty good. Right? And then some support and resistance down here. Key highs right here. No volume though. So let's go here. Now let's go over to where price action is. Whew. All right. So we're flagging out. You can see a downtrend. Okay. That's very clear. Downtrend here on the daily. Flagging out just like Bitcoin though. This could be the one that pops off. Right? So you can see that there. Going into the four hour, the daily is still very much in the green here with the money flow cooling off a little bit, a little bit of a reset, but you can see the momentum wave continuation to the upside. This is typically bullish on a long term time frame. Okay, going over, going over to the four hour here, you can see that even though we marked out support and resistance from previous levels, look at how it works here. Now we can adjust these to be a little bit more accurate within our range here, but you can see. Look how price has respected these levels. It's absolutely bonkers, okay? It's bonkers. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And this is from previous price action. So now we can look for this continuation up here, trying to hold this as support, okay? You have now put in a higher high, and now you have retraced, okay? So you have now put in a swing low, bullish divergence, weep, lower low, Higher high, bullish divergence. Higher high, taking out previous highs. You're looking for the continuation to the upside, okay? Looking for that continuation. Looking very good right now. A little bit of a pushback, okay? So continuation to the upside. Um, Pulling a fib from swing low to swing high. Bouncing off that beautiful golden pocket. Perfect little bounce here. You can mark out this area as a potential buy zone and continuation to the upside, okay? Now, this is going to be led by Bitcoin, obviously. Bitcoin getting that beautiful, beautiful bounce, okay? Beautiful bounce. Look at it go. Look at it go, okay? So now it's an opportunity on Bitcoin for you to look for the retest, okay? So you're looking for something like this where you get the retest continuation, and that's where you're looking for your long, okay? Same with Jasmine here. Retest continuation coming into that beautiful, beautiful area here. Looking for the continuation to the upside. Remember, the daily looks positive. The four hour looks positive. You're looking for something like this for continuation to the upside. Big move here on Jasmine. Overall, you're getting a nice move up. You got a little bit of a higher high here on um, pushover, breaking structure to the downside. V shaped recovery looks like it's in process. Looking at Bitcoin, very similar thing as well. We marked out this resistance. Let's see if we get a rejection and then continuation after that. So overall, Jasmine looking good. You have major support on Jasmine right around 0, 1.8 cents. Okay. And then this area right here at 1.9 cents. Okay. 1.9 cents is also a key level. Okay. Resistance clearly lying at 1.98. Okay, and then you want to see price get 
up and onwards as it continues to push, okay? Overall, add those levels to your chart. You can take a screenshot, just look at the red on the right-hand side, and that will give you your levels that I have marked out for you, where you're looking for price to have a reaction and continue its way upwards in this big flag to the upside, okay? Then you're looking for that breakout and continuation parabolically, okay? Let's go over to Matic. Automatic, man. This is automatic. Automatic. This is not financial advice. This is just utterly fantastic advice. Okay. Bitcoin pumping, baby. Let's go, Bitcoin. Let's go, Bitcoin. V shaped recovery. Let's go over Matic here. Matic on the daily. Okay. Let's see Matic on the daily. Matic's been beaten up, man. Poor Matic, man. Poor Matic. Poor Matic. Pulling a fixed range volume profile here. Pulling up the point of control. Let's bring it up to that shelf of volume. Sheesh. Okay, the thing is, is with a lot of these things, we do not want them to fall back within these ranges. Okay, otherwise we're going to consolidate within the range. We want to see structure being formed here and continuation to the upside. We clearly have not been able to hold here. You can see a bit of a head and shoulders, okay? It's very ugly. Um, and that measure move would bring you probably down here. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, that's not realistic, in my opinion. Okay. Key level of support here. Looking for that continuation. If you were to pull a fib from swing low to swing high, I bet you it's a golden pocket. Oof, just below the golden pocket, okay? If you're going from the start of the move, 786. Okay, depends on how you want to pull it. Don't make a rude joke, Mark. Don't make a, you can do it this time. You don't need to make a rude joke on how you want to pull it. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you start a trend line from in front and pull it backwards and see how many points you can touch getting confluence and then pulling it forward. Okay. That's a little trick that I like to use when pulling trend lines. Okay. Need to get up and above this. Okay. You want to see structure being formed on a lower term time frame. Very, very big sell-off taking out the lows, okay? You can see the aggressive sell-off here. We have now taken out that low here, okay? This low has been taken out. We want to see Matic put in that structure to the upside. Otherwise, we're expecting just a retracement up and a continuation down, okay? Because the trend is your friend to the end, so we want to see that trend being broken, at least on the shorter-term time frames. Um, and right now, we didn't even get above this high here. Very close, but didn't even get above here. So we need to take out this high here in order to continue bullishly, okay? And we are getting a push on Bitcoin. However, rejection at key level of resistance that we had marked out, you can see how well these work, okay? So looking for that continuation back up. Nonetheless, Matic is looking quite bearish. So we want to really see that structure being formed. Your key level of support is going to be down here at 86.26 cents, okay? Yikes. And I own a big bag of Matic, so I think, like, for me, it's about establishing itself and, and really holding. Like, it hasn't had that run that I think Matic really needs to have. You know, a lot of the adoption from Ethereum ecosystem has gone into optimism, Arbitrum, and things such as such, what, even though Matic in the bear market has had a massive push. This is bear market Matic, okay? Matic was flying on a narrative, and then we bought Matic. Well, I bought Matic. I told you guys, I bought Matic down here when it had that FTX collapse. I, I bought ADA, Matic, and Avalanche on that wick down right here, okay? So that's when I bought. So for me, I'm only up, from that buy, I'm only up 74%, okay? That is, that is bullshit, okay? Um, for being able to have the Stonats to buy Matic on this wick here back in August. Or was it here? It was one of these. When was the FTX collapse? I think it was here. That was it here. And I have receipts if you want to see them. No problemo. Um, so we want to see 86 hold and the trend line broken. Okay. However, right now, simple 
bear flag continuation until proven otherwise. Okay, 86 is your next level of support. Hopefully holding. They crush an ETH. They dump in it again. Yeah. And you guys know why, right? You guys know why they crush an ETH? Because they want to buy cheaper, right? And then the ETH ETF will come out. I bought another 30 grand of Ethereum at $3,500, okay? And I, I, I shared the receipt. It's in the Discord, okay? Whatever, I'm convicted. We're going up, okay? I think 12K ETH is like a fart in the wind, okay? It's nothing. So conviction, long-term hold, obviously, but definitely looking for Matic to have a pushback eventually, okay? It's going to take some time. Let's go over to CRV. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you for all that you've done. We are going to do a giveaway on Friday. Is this the right token here? No, here we go. So we're going to give a giveaway 50 USDT on Friday just to just to thank you guys for 2,500 subscribers, halfway to 5,000. Incredible, incredible times. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and being part of the Otter Gang. Don't forget to join us in the free Discord. Links in the description below. We go live Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do a morning update video, and we give free trade signals, which is not financial advice. However, we are a profitable trader, helping other traders try to be profitable. So hopefully that helps you. You can see here, we mark out that key area. We're looking for a reaction within this key area. And you can see that we are getting it. Let's pull fixed range volume profile, naked point of control that now has been touched. Okay, so that's a very key level as well. Pulling that, now let's pull the rest of this FRVP across the whole channel here and get volume for the entire range. And let's try to isolate price here. So we can see that we are coming up here, touching key resistance, look at that. Key resistance, key support coming in right around here and then also right around here, okay? We have volume here and volume right here, okay? So we've isolated price. Now we look for that continuation to the upside, okay? So now seeing here, bottoming, lower lows, higher highs, we wanna see money flow coming back in, okay? That's, that's gonna be indicative of continuation. Now you can look for a retest here, which I believe we got, let's see. Um, yeah, so you've had the breakout, Possible retest still in play here for that continuation up, making a higher low. These lows are higher than this low. Going over to the nitty gritty, and hopefully we can find something here for you. Yep, key level of support, pulling a fib from swing low to swing high. And look at that, we have confluence within our support line here. So we look for a possible buy right here. That's kind of what I would be leaning towards with Bitcoin trying to push back up, I would look for a little bit of chop going into the evening right now. However, massive move across the board for a lot of assets, cooling off right now, looking for that continuation, taking out key highs, changing market structure. Looking really good overall, and hopefully we can see this thing continue to fly off the handle as it has, okay? Nice moves up, very choppy kind of price action. So maybe suggesting to swing trade this because you can see how John Wick's grandmother, he's she's definitely here um, grabbing liquidation on the way up. So I would suggest using less leverage, less margin, and giving yourself more breathing room with your stop losses, okay? That's going to be key for a, a, a profitable trade when trading something like CRV. But right now, bottoming, kind of a bottoming signal here. If we look maybe on the 12 hour, yeah, we got, a higher high, very slightly, okay, very slightly nonetheless. Higher high, lower low on our oscillator. VWAP crossover. Money has come out, but it looks like money wants to come back in, okay? So that's looking good nonetheless on the longer term time frames as well. And then you could draw a trend line if you would like from here to here and look for this to be broken and to march onwards and upwards, breaking this, retesting, and then breaking these highs down here. Something as such, okay? That's what we would be looking for on CRV. Now let's go over to 
Injective. Oh, man, Injective. $30.50 $30. was our big buy level. Okay, holding this support. There isn't a lot below us holding us up. Okay, our next drop is down to $26.72. However, we are approaching the breakout of this downwards trend line, okay? Guys, I bought Injective up here at 37. Buying the top is not fun. However, it's a long-term hold. I do believe we can continue to continue from here onwards and upwards, okay? I do believe Injective is going to do well on this bull run, and it's a long-term hold nonetheless. So looking at this right now, you can see Injective moved up and has been rejected from the downwards trend line. I mean, if you're just shorting this downwards trend line, it's going to make you money. We gave this buy signal yesterday in the live stream, moving up 6%, returning to this buy signal and hopefully continuing onwards and upwards. The only thing that deters me from that is that we have failed to take out this high moving upwards here. So for me, it's a swing failure pattern and a continuation really wanting to see this downwards trend line be broken and that structure to the upside being created okay no sign of it as of yet very much just lower lows right so we want to see that change to the upside okay right now 31 30 dollars is looking like our buy level and if we lose that level it's quite a big drop all the way down to 26 let's call it 2660 where we would be dropping to. So very, very cautious, but I do believe this is not financial advice, a great buy level for Injective, because as you can see, Injective has performed this bull market all the way up 6X from the lows, okay? So for me, I'm looking for continuation on Injective. Let's see if we get it overall. Now let's go over to our favorite, favorite, favorite coin, XRP, baby. <laughs> what's going on we got 167 people in here thank you guys so much for supporting the channel two hour live stream we're getting through it i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's pretty exhausting i don't know how these guys do it i try to keep the pace quite steady we're into the electrolytes already guys so hopefully we have some energy for you guys Mark Dutch, enjoy your um, lasagna with salami. Much love to you, bro. Um, and guys, we might have time for a couple, maybe two, quick TA sessions. The first two, to type in what they want to see, I will do. Okay? XRP. If it doesn't get above 65 cents, I'm not looking at it. And I keep saying this. Trend line to the upside. Push upside. XRP coming out with a sta stable coin? I don't know. I heard something about that. Is that true? XRP stable coin. XRP stable coin. Let me see if I can find it. XRP eyes. Oh, man. I was about to do like a cool newscast because, you know, news anchor wanker thing. Mega high prices as Ripple readies to storm 155 billion stablecoin market. Okay. Okay. Backed by the US dollar, yet to be named, yet to be named. Okay. We'll have to see. Brad Garlinghouse launching a stablecoin is natural. Let's, let's repost this so everybody can read it. Is a natural step for Ripple as we bridge the gap between traditional finance and crypto. We have one the years of experience two regulatory footprint a strong balance sheet and a network with near global payout coverage to offer the best crypto enabled payments using xrp and our future stable coins together i guess i'll follow you because of that brad garlinghouse thank you for fighting the sec i appreciate anybody who spends billions of dollars fighting the u.s government and now i'm probably going to be canceled it was just because we wanted to see gary get his ass whooped okay gary gensler who used to be a teacher about blockchain technology is now a anti-crypto queen. So thank you, Brad. Thank you for doing what you do. Okay. So looking for this continuation here on XRP. We'll see. We'll see. I said, and I'll say it again. This is when they won the case 
on Ripple here, on XRP. This is when they won the case, okay? Great job. We have yet to come back to the 65 cents. We come up, we get crushed. We come up, we get crushed. I do not hold XRP and I do not like XRP. However, I appreciate XRP for fighting that court case. Ripple, the company, is coming out with their own stable coin, but it might not be on the XRP network solely. Thank you, Schaefer, for keeping it real, man. That is the wor word on the street. Word to Big Bird. Let's go. So we did have a buy level for you down below here. It did come down. It touched. It came below, actually. And we we're looking for it to continue up this trend line. However, it does look like it's losing its bearing. Screw that trend line. We want to see it break this trend line here, okay? Because... Right now, it is making lower lows, okay? You can see this low and this low. This is lower. So you can see clearly making lower lows until we see a reversal of some sort making higher highs. It's ugly. It's ugly. It's not looking good, okay? So for me right now, patience. Patience if you are an XRP holder and your X army and all that good stuff. I mean, you guys, you guys got some diamond hands, man. And um, shout out to you guys because... It's going to pay dividends as long as you learn um, the hardest thing in crypto, I hear, is to sell. Okay, so we'll hopefully we'll be working together as a community to sell our bags and make those big, big profits come super parabolic bull run. Okay, and I do believe that's around the corner. Nonetheless, XRP is looking quite ugly. We want to see that breakout. Okay, now, do we get any requests? I'm scrolling through. 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 Naked AOC slash. Is that Alex O Crypto naked? Are you drinking pee? <laughs> it's electrolytes. I'm out of water in Canada, even though we have the most biggest bodies of water in the world. I'll do H bar. H bar. H. I'll do H bar. Where is H bar? You guys are you guys are amazing guys. Thank you guys for being here. H barbarians, man. You guys got a cool name. AJ writes crypto said there's some bullish news on uh his channel about H bar. H bar's in Trying to hold its own. Okay. You got supports here. Clear supports. Very, very wiki. Okay. So cautious about that. I don't know about these ISO 222 coins, man. I don't know if I'm a fan. I don't know. It's too uh, governmentally. Um. So, yeah, looking at this, you can see four hour here. Money flows in the red crossing over. Not looking too good here. A move up today, but a little bit of a rejection. Nonetheless, it doesn't look like it, it, it wants to hold here. You can see you got in higher lows. Okay. However, right now, you really want to see that proof in the pudding, right? Where Bitcoin continues to march onwards and upwards, which it looks like it's trying to do here today. Very nice move. But as Bitcoin chopped sideways for the last three days prior to today, it has really done some damage to altcoins, okay? And looking at HBAR, you, you would like to see these hold. Continuation to the upside, you're at a key level of support. You want to see that swing failure pattern getting to here and getting above key level of resistance. And you can see throughout this chart here that your key level of resistance is most likely around here. Yeah, you're coming up and touching this volume here. And then you have your your big daddy volume over here that's going to hold you down. So right now you came up to this area here. Let's get rid of this one. You got your buy zone down below here. You got your resistance at 10.7. Okay. You got your downwards trend line. You want to get above that. You can see that you are making higher lows. Okay. That's a good sign. You want to see that continue to climb higher high here. So you've taken out those highs. Looking for that continuation here on H bar, okay? Breakout, retest, continuation, possible trade or swing failure pattern, bullish divergence to the upside, okay? And that's what you'd be looking for on H bar, okay? Is anybody getting mad at me in the chat for not looking at their token? Come on, I want to see some hate. 
Come on, give me. I need trolls, man. I really miss. I want to see some trolls. I want I want someone to like troll me and say like I'm a midget Canadian who eats maple syrup and wears a dog with hat and can't beatbox when Arnold Schwarzenegger doesn't like you and you're useless. Come on, troll me. <laughs> Let's go over to GMT. Last but not least, GMT. GMT. Downwards trend line coming to key levels of support and resistance. Let's pull that volume across that we've gone over. Do fill next. Okay, we'll do fill. We'll do fill. I got to rush now. Oh, my God. Key level. Look at this massive spike in volume. Okay, GMT. And you got support there. Isolated price. Looking for that continuation. Je m'appose. Je m'appose. <laughs> let's go let's go i'm i'm built for it man i'm built for it i can handle a heckler Hecklefish is my friend okay higher highs higher lows breaking that trend okay you want to see that continuation on gmt my friend continuation is going to be key getting above key levels of resistance holding this one here right holding this 30 cents 30.8 cents and getting above 33 three cents okay very aggressive downtrend here very aggressive you can see that that's aggressive okay so for me going backwards coming forwards okay so for me you want to see that continuation here let's go over to bill with a ph philanthropy okay this is philanthropy. Everything is free. Oh, look at those levels, guys. Look at those levels, okay? Phil, pushing up, breaking down, higher low. Okay, look at the 12-hour bullish divergence. Ah, anchor trigger. Close enough, right? Money flow needs to come back. You got the 12-hour VWAP crossover coming your way, so that looks good long-term. A nice push up today, a nice push up today, creating that, that market structure change. So you want to see the continuation. You can see very aggressive sell off here, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, right? So your higher high, we want to see that continuation. Uh, yeah, you can mark out these areas here. Previous support, getting into the nitty gritty here. You want to see continuation. You can see getting rid of this. You can see here, swing low to swing high, golden pocket bounce, currently occurring, currently occurring. Is that a new one? And looking for that continuation to the upside, okay? So you want to see higher highs and higher lows being created. You also want to make sure that you understand where your key levels of resistance are on a chart such as this. You can use your fixed range volume profile like we were talking about earlier today. We did a lesson on it quick times in the chat here. So you can mark out these levels, right? where price is going to react and you can see you've had those reactions in previous times so you have a lot of work to do to get back up to where you were trading from before and that is a 15 percent move but nonetheless it can be accomplished okay screenshot this add these levels to your charts so that you are aware of them as well so you can trade alongside and hopefully get that continuation to the upside bitcoin dropping down coming back wrecking the longs okay wrecking those people who got long late long late okay coming back down to our key level of support here looking for continuation vector candles now nah, i'm not going to get into it so looking for this maybe a swing failure continuation up okay something like that bullish divergence patience is key with anything like this we've had a great great recovery for the day guys we're so fortunate to be getting out of this downwards trend line we gave the trade setup from way down below here at 65 130 it's been pretty amazing btc funding rate almost back to positive that is looking good that is looking good so let's see if that continues it's going to be expensive to ride this wave to the upside but guys it's worth it thank you guys thank you thank you thank you we didn't break the record today of 171 we were at 170 
people on the live today. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Hopefully, you guys learned something today. It's been a wonderful stream. I'm exhausted already. I'm probably going to go have a nap. No, I'm kidding. It's dinner time, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Guys, morning update video. Crazy Friday stream. Giveaway. Pump music. Two hours of absolute nonsense. And much love for me. Okay, thank you guys so much for being here. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your evening. I will see you guys tomorrow. Much love and peace out. Bye. On the come up and I sit low. The product base, but it drip though. Pocket fat when the chips low. Alex O, crypto. Fit the party like a disco. Fan base like my wallet, yo. Stay true to the digital. Alex O, crypto. Alex O, crypto. Alex O, crypto. Alex O, crypto. What you know about juice? Making the moves. That of no casual, breaking the news. Revenue proof. A building portfolio taking one over exceptional pain. I'm trapping this. So participation ain't a hard knock. I put in the work so you got knowledge. You ain't drawing with luck when you follow with us. The result is a pair full of fat pies. Yes. But a bang, that's an auto game with an auto flame. Put a lot of hate. Get about the lane. Ain't about the trade. Have another trade. Get another play. They playing God so pretentious. Trapes in these waters forbidden. Well, indeed. That's a felony. Don't look at me, but it's TRB. Have you heard of TRB? Uh, I don't know. On the come up and I sit low. The product base, but it drip though. Pocket fat when the chips low. Alex O, crypto. Fit the party like a disco. Fan base like my wallet, yo. Stay true to the digital. Alex O, crypto. On the come up and I sit low. The product base, but it drip though. Pocket fat when the chips low. Alex O, crypto. Fit the party like a disco. Fan base like my wallet, yo. Stay true to the digital. Alex O, crypto. 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 Product base, but it drip though. Pocket fat when the chips low. Alex O, crypto. Fit the party like a disco. Fan base like my wallet, yo. Stay true to the digital. Alex O, crypto.